Hello everyone, this is me Farid Fana, your friend, guide and instructor in this channel. Previously, we studied about transform, arrange, align and distribute. Today, we're going to cover the rest of the options which are in our object menu. In object menu, after these words, we can see there are group, ungroup, lock, unlock, hide and show all. If I want to move them all together, I need to select them first, then I can move them. But what if I, I don't want to select all of them or every time I want to move them, I want to select them. I just do what? First select all of them, right click on them and group. We can do it from here. The next thing, go to options, group. It is group. And the last but not the least. It is a shortcut, Control G, and it will group all of them. When you go to your layer, when it's not grouped, you can see all of them have different or separate layers. When you click or select all of them and Control G to group them, you can see all of them in a single layer, but it has a drop down. All of them are still separated, but when you click on them, all of them get selected. Then you can move them. And if you want to change a single shape or the size of single shape or the color, after grouping these six shapes, what do we do? We go to our layer, drop down, select the shape which you want to change its color, then a single shape will be selected, even though it's grouped. Then change its color to whichever color suits your design. After doing some changes, when you click back on it, still it will be in the same group it was as before if you don't want to have this group right click on it and group them then it will be ungrouped and the same thing we can do from object menu ungroup the group shortcut was ctrl g the ungroup shortcut is shift ctrl g so click on shift ctrl g or go to object click on ungroup it will be ungrouped after objects, we have lock. If I want to lock these three shapes so it cannot be moved from here, select them, go to object, lock them, lock selection, artboard or other layers. I want to just lock the selections. After locking them, you can't move them and you can also see in our layer tab, three layers have been locked and the other layers can be moved easily but these layers we can also lock them manually by just clicking or toggling the lock here then this one is locked too if you want to unlock it click on unlock you can see it is unlocked so unlock all of them from here you can lock and unlock them too and from object menu we have lock and unlock all after lock options in our object we have hide and show if you hide them you can't see the object is not deleted still it is in your artboard if you go to your layer tab all layers are here but visibility toggle is off turn them on back then all of them will be visible you can turn them on and off from here and you can also go to object show all all of them will be shown so these are the group hide and lock options of your object menu after that we have expand what it does when you expand it it will separate stroke from your shape simple as that go to object expand it okay both fill and strokes are taken on okay now when you drag it you won't see any effect because both of them are grouped right click on them ungroup it now when i move my stroke it is a totally separate shape from my fill. This is what expand does. The next thing I have is expand appearance. When I click on this, expand works, but why not expand appearance? It expand appearance applies on effects. For example, I have the star, go to effects, styles, or stylize, drop shadow. 17, 17, and... 15 yeah now when i have my style here or effect here when i go back to object you can see expand 
is not available, but the expanded appearance is available right now. Click on it, right click, ungroup it. You guys can see we have separated effect from our shape. So the next important thing is rasterize. When you go to your object, click on rasterize. Okay, RGB color, high resolution, 300. When you drag it here, you have transformed a vector image to a raster image. Right, right now, this is a raster image. You can see it is pixelated when you zoom it in. But this one is still a vector image. After rasterize, we have create gradient mesh. When you click on the gradient mesh, we have also studied mesh tool. If you haven't studied mesh tool, go to our previous lessons, go to the tools. We have explained all of them separately and you will see what does mesh tool do. And when we create gradient mesh, we can set rows and columns. How many rows do you want? One, two, three, four. We have set four. That's why it's four. And columns are also four. Right now to know it well, just I'm okay with four columns. When I select these points, and I change its color to red. And I set these points. I can also go to eyedropper tool, set the colors from here. And the rest of the points, we can also change their colors to something wrong. white to these points as well what if we could dark this is what mesh means then we have create object mosaic object mosaic only works on the raster image Click on this raster image or bring this raster image. How it is raster image? Because we converted or rasterized this image or this shape. Create object mosaic. We can set them tiles. We can give them width and height. Right now it's okay. When you click on them, it will change it to a mosaic shape. But if we increase the width and height of them, for example, I have 40 width. I'm not setting, I'm, I'm just going to set 46. I'm going to set 46 width or 46 tiles of width. If you don't want to set the height, then it won't be in squares. But if you have set it 46 and just use the ratio, it will automatically set a height ratio according to your width ratio, ratio. width ratio. And click OK. Now it is in. 46 to 45 mosaics. So this is how mosaic works. Then we have in our object menu, create timber, trim marks. Create trim marks. What does create trim marks does? It will just indicate a printing area. That this is the area which is going to be printed if you save as PNG or print or whatever you do. These are the paddings which indicates that this area won't be printed or this area will be taken by the pages when you click or you print something on A4 page, there are some pa uh, paddings or margins. So this indicator shows that you won't have these sections in your print. This will be filled with your paper and exact shape will be printed in your paper or design. Then we have flatten transparency. When you click on flatten transparency, it also change this from vector to raster image but with a really high resolution so these were the important things of this section of our object menu in upcoming classes we will be covering the rest of the options which are included or available in our object menu so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe this channel